Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started here. Um, this PowerPoint will be about the Declaration of Independence and the Enlightenment. Again, some famous terms and people that we'll talk about. Thomas Paine, again, he was an American colonist and author of Common Sense. This is a pamphlet pushing and urging people toward independence. Richard Henry Lee, he's a delegate who introduced a resolution calling for independence to the Second Continental Congress. A resolution is a formal statement of opinion, preambles and introduction, and a grievance is a formal complaint. Why did many colonists favor declaring independence? By 1776, tension filled the colonies. The king had declared the colonists to be in open rebellion. Battles had been fought and soldiers had died. Still, the path ahead was not clear. Though blood had been shed, many colonists still hoped for peace. So remember, this is 1776. We can go back clear to the early 1760s when we had uh, the Sugar Act passed. So this is years and years later. The Boston Massacre is 1770. The Boston Tea Party is 1773. The first shot is fired in 1775. So again, at this point, you know, um, there's not a whole lot of uh, communication. Remember from the last section, too, the king did not did not read the Olive Branch Petition for Peace. By 1776, or as 1776 began, most colonists were neither patriots nor loyalists. They were in the middle, and they weren't sure about what to do. Again, um, patriots would definitely be the sons and daughters of liberty. Loyalists were mostly uh, merchants, but people were still undecided. You might ask, why would you be undecided? Well, it's not a, a whole lot of fun to openly rebel against the government. Uh, this is a, uh, a divorce between the colonists and their, their mother country. Uh, even though you didn't like the policies of, of England, that was still your home country. It was a, a difficult decision to do. That soon began to change. In, set, in January of 1776, a colonist named Thomas Paine wrote a pamphlet that received wide attention. In common sense, Paine made powerful arguments in favor of independence. Uh, he makes some statements that, such as George III is a royal brute, in other words, a bully. Common sense meaning, you know, right in front of you. Uh, he's trying to, you know, urge the colonists that this is the way we need to go. Paine also said that kings should not rule over people and that Americans should govern themselves. Common sense became a bestseller and public opinion began to shift. So again, the number of colonists favoring independence uh, increased. More colonists began to favor independence. So too did their representatives in the Second Continental Congress. Remember, at this point, we don't have a president. We don't have anybody from the executive branch. We don't have a sustainable judicial branch. Again, England did those things. But what we do have is a group of lawmakers, and that's uh, they're forming and they're calling themselves a Continental Congress. And this one is the Second Continental Congress. So you have delegates or representatives from the colonies that come together to talk about uh, what to do. In May, Virginia delegate Richard Henry Lee introduced a resolution declaring that the colony should be free and independent states. Congress formed a committee to write a statement explaining the reasons for independence. So again, um, Congress is forming a group of five men to uh, write down why we need to to declare independence. Uh, the statement would be presented to Congress, then the question of independence would be put to a vote. Uh, ben Franklin, John Adams, and Thomas Jefferson, uh, they were appointed to the committee. They were the most known. Jefferson wrote most of the document, which would become the Declaration of Independence. Again, Jefferson's also the youngest. He's 33. Uh, Franklin and Adams are, are very old politicians. Um, again, uh, legend has it that uh, Jefferson gets stuck writing the declaration because he, quote, has the nicest handwriting. The Declaration of Independence uh, begins um, ha it has four parts beginning with the preamble. Uh, a preamble is the, the introduction. Again, that states the reason for writing the document to explain why the colonists were breaking ties with Britain. Uh, to begin the explanation, Jefferson declared that everyone has unalienable rights. Again, this is the section of Declaration of Natural Rights. 
Governments are created to protect those rights. That was a, a main enlightenment idea. And again, if a government violates those rights, the people can change their government. Uh, this is an important concept to know. It's a part of our system. We vote. We have new leaders that we vote in, old leaders that we vote out. A list of grievances. Again, these are uh, grievances that violated the colonists' rights. To prove this, Jefferson presented a long list of grievances, including that the colonists were they were these were some of the bigger ones. They were denied a trial by jury. This was from the Magna Carta. I think when we studied back uh, a few sections ago, the Magna Carta gave the right to a trial by jury. Uh, and taxation without their consent. Again, uh, we wanted representatives in Parliament. Um, by the way, Britain fired back and said our representatives are for everyone, whether you're in the colonies or whether you're in England. But in one sense, you might be able to understand England's logic by saying that. However, how would you get in touch with your representative when none of them lived in the colonies? Uh, therefore, Jefferson concluded the colonists are free and independent states. This is the resolution. This is the conclusion of the declaration. The resolution states that all ties between the colonies and the British government are now dissolved. That means completely cut, severed. The Declaration of Independence was approved by Congress on July 4th, 1776. Again, we still celebrate July 4th as Independence Day. Today, the Declaration remains a source of inspiration for Americans and for people around the world. So again, it not only inspired our people, but again, many other nations. And we'll get more into this in, uh, further in the section. For Americans in 1776, however, declaring independence was a serious and frightening step. The colonists were challenging one of the most powerful nations in the world and risking their lives. The way ahead was dangerous, but there was no turning back. Americans were now fighting to create their own nation. Okay, thanks for listening, and uh, go ahead and get started with your reading.